The digit 1 can lead to a number of interesting mathematical excursions. In honor of 11 11 11, I'm going to share 11 of them with you. Can anything of interest come from combining the humble digit 1 with the square root and plus symbol? As this demonstration suggests, giving the right nesting, you get an infinite series that converges to phi, or 1.61803, which is the golden ratio. Interestingly enough, a different combining of an infinite series of ones also produces a series that converges to the golden ratio. I would be remiss if I didn't find a way to include pi in this digits game. Here's a series that, slowly, converges to pi. Thank goodness we don't have to compute these products by hand. Something interesting happens when we compute powers of 11. In particular, the digits of the first five powers of 11 through 11 to the fourth, correspond to the entries of the first five rows of Pascal's triangle. Can you see why this correspondence exists for these few terms, and why it doesn't exist beyond 11 to the fourth? What do you get when you multiply two numbers, each consisting of all ones? You get a pretty product. Have you ever wondered how many primes there are less than or equal to pi to the pi power? How quickly can you compute the last 11 digits of 11 to the 11 to the 11 times 11? This number is so huge that it has more digits than the number of particles in the universe. Fortunately, Mathematica can quickly compute those last digits. Did you know that if a number is divisible by 11, then the number you get when you reverse its digits is also divisible by 11? Here's an example. Note that factor integer of n gives a list of the prime factors of the integer n together with their exponents. What's special about 11 factorial plus 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 1? Yes, it's prime. Here's a fun factoid that's not at all related to Mathematica, but nonetheless worth including in any discussion about the number 11. Guess how many sides the polygon has that surrounds the portrait of Susan B. Anthony on the U.S. dollar coin? After you've answered that question, here's a harder one. What do you call an 11-sided polygon? Hint, Wolfram Alpha can help. Our final look at the digit 1 is an exploration. How many diagonals are there in a regular 11-sided polygon? How could you figure this out, with and without Mathematica? Keep in mind that line segments connecting two adjacent edges aren't diagonals. I hope you've enjoyed this one-of-a-kind excursion into the number one.